Here is a uh, simple NXJ program. It uses an infrared rangefinder to detect whether it is within 25 centimeters of an object. And here is the condition uh, checking to see if we're within 25 centimeters. If it is within 25 centimeters, uh, then the robot will rotate 90 degrees and it will simply continue this process for a total of eight turns. Now, what we're going to do is to run this program through a 2D simulator and through an actual robot. So, uh, now let's run our root finder program through the uh, PC simulator. So, uh, let's select the PC simulator program here and run it. And we can see now a picture of the brick. Um, and at the bottom here, we can select uh, between the programs that have been loaded into memory. So here's the root finder, and let's just run it. Now you'll notice that the brick, which is represented by this blue rectangle, is staying stationary, and the walls around it appear to be moving. The white line uh, represents the uh, line of vision, if you will, of the infrared sensor, and the red circles uh, represent the point at which that line of vision intersects an object in the environment. And so here it is moving um, in an area surrounded by walls and every time it gets within 25 centimeters of the wall it turns. Now there are a couple of other features to the simulation. Uh, one is we can switch over to manual controls. So here I've uh, clicked on the manual controls tab and if you see here I can I can turn the robot to the right one degree. Now again the robot appears to be stationary and it is the walls that are changing. However I can also change the frame of reference by pressing on this frame of reference button here and at this point you will notice that the walls stay stationary and it is the robot brick that appears to turn. So here again we see the uh, robot brick turning with it. Lastly, let's run the uh, root finder program through the actual brick. So now I'm going to select the root finder program. And at this point I have the option of using the simulator, in which case it will use the internal two-dimensional memory map or of using its actual sensors to find its way around the environment. As you can see, um, the 2D map of the environment that we saw on the PC is now also displayed on the LCD monitor of the NXT brick.